Now, I think I might have actually found something he missed. It's right here. It was reading about 30, 31. Uh-oh, it's one dime. Oh, it's one dime. Oh, I ah, it's one dime. Nice. All right guys, so we're out at a new house that we have. We got our first find. Um, we are at a house that we did a week ago over on the other side and then we decided to come over here. We got permission the other day. Um, Dave has his first find, but we just wanted to say if you guys like the content that you are getting, comment, uh, like, subscribe. We uh, like all that interaction. So uh, don't forget to little, hit the little bell button so that we can keep getting notified when we have a new video. Let's get to the find. Dave got himself a pull tag, actually. It says Mount Lebanon, and it says men across the top. We don't can't see the number. It says one six something, but it's a 1947 pull tag. Um, he's found these before um, for another pool yeah. in the area. So uh, this is that's a pretty cool little find. Nice little relic to have. Um, we'll keep on looking and see what else we can get. Yep. Cool. Yeah. All right, man. We'll see you. Well, I got my first find. He just found that pull tag. Uh, I literally flopped it over. You can see the dark spot in the bottom, but look at look at this. It says something with the it says PD on it. I'm not sure what that is. 19. That's cool. Could be police department. Or... Yeah. Let me get this cleaned up, and I'll yeah. I'll get right back to you. Try so this is what it is cleaned all all cleaned up. Now I this is a mystery item to me because I. I have no idea, but I do know it says B and O R R for railroad, Baltimore and uh, Ohio railroad, 1845, which I don't know if that's a date or just a number, and it has PD underneath. It's thick. It almost looks like a coin. Um, it's it's got some yeah, it's got some weight. It doesn't have anything on the back. Um, if you guys know what this is, uh, please mystery items are the best to try to figure out so uh i'm gonna do some research but i'm not sure if i'll find anything but man is that neat i love finding relics that is a if that's the date that's, that's pretty cool that's that cool predates thing. the house so yep. um we will see on the next one all right so we we just literally found that but you know yep. railroad token Five uh i just later. walked through the spot and that's when i found that but dave's like oh i got one here it's bouncy yeah, but it was, it was bouncing in the mid 20s yeah good, good repeatable but so he popped it out. Oh, okay, well, I just popped it out by accident. It is a. What do we got? It's a coin. Yeah. It looks silver, it? and <laughs> it is a mercury of it's some mercury. sort. Yep. Let's get our uh, water out and uh, we'll spray it off here. Yeah, we saw the edge. Here's the edge right that we saw right there. Right. It's a nice dark one. Love when it gets that toning to it. Yeah, that's. All right. Let's see if we can get a date on there. 1942, yeah. 1942, let's see if we can get us something on the back here of Mint Mark. Okay. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a Mint Mark. 1942, well, let's get that. 1942 D, or no D, I'm sorry. 1942, no Mint Mark. Awesome, fine, dude. Okay. Let's, dude, let's that's, get some more silver, let's, man. Let's keep going, man. More. It's gonna here. be a good yard. We don't have Sean with us, but you know, he's in our thoughts and prayers. <laughs> well, all right we'll see you on the next one anyways hey, I got dave a, got himself a cool find i got a nickel signal it was like not even an inch deep right 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 there i just popped it out cleaned it off and i got a v nickel <laughs> he just had a, a regular just, jefferson right over there and i got a v nickel oh, just it's a couple a, days ago across the street what's this one 1907 seven yeah and the 1907 other one v nickel across. that's gonna clean up real nice yeah. that back looks good yeah it's surprising man that looks real nice was. Yeah. Dude. Good job, I'll take man. Them nickels, yep. It's two hunts in a row you're doing great. Yeah. Keep it up, man. Yep. All right, guys. So I got myself a nice little relic here. Uh, it's a miner's tag. Have not cleaned it off yet. It might have a number on it. Uh, probably does, but let me get it cleaned off and see if there's anything else on there. It's a number, I want to say 80, 83 or 89. Um, thought it said 83 but now i'm like double guessing it here and might be an 89 but 
it is pretty awesome. So Dave got himself a nice little find. I'm not exactly sure what it is just yet. It is a token of some sort. It's a uh, hexagon. I don't think it's a miner's tag. We did find some of these, but it's, it's a little about small. three feet from your miner's yeah, tag. Right, yeah, it's about three feet away. So I actually have a spot over there. I'm going to go and find out what that is. He's going to clean this up and we'll be right back. I got my signal over here. And not being a gas valve, I actually saw this part hanging out and I thought it was a poodle head. <laughs> and I popped it out and it's a gas valve. Look at this thing. I've never found one this nice. This is a neat one here. Uh, it's really nice and ornate. I'm not going to clean it up much more than that. Um, man, that's pretty. That's beautiful, but really. got to check out Dave's token. Yeah, look, I got a pine cone. He got a pine cone. No, no, I didn't get a pine cone. <laughs> I got a cool Look at this. Here. This is, I've never seen one. He said he has found one before, but it says foot passenger. Um, it's West Elizabeth Bridge Company, foot passenger. So you'd have to probably have one of these tokens to yes. go across the bridge. Yep. That is, wow, I've never seen anything That's like that. Too. That was like late 1800s. Yeah. I Dave is on a roll. He got himself another nickel and he might get the trifecta. Oh, you did get a trifecta today, didn't you? Of the nickels. Well, you got a regular? Just a regular nickel. Regular Jefferson, you got a Buffalo nickel. Uh, it looks like 15 actually. Oh, can you see it? Yeah, it looks like 1915. That's early. Buffalo nickel, that is really cool. And he also got himself a V nickel today. Yep. He is, uh, he's on a roll. Dave, what do you got? Another nickel. I think it's a V nickel. Another nickel. I think it's a V nickel. Let's see. Uh, kind of. Oh, wait. Is that a V? Yeah, there's a V. I Another V nickel. Wow, Dave. It's literally like a foot over from the other one. Not even. <laughs> yeah. Let's on see if we can get that V the on there so you can see it. Yeah, you can see the V right there in the yep, center. Let me uh, see if I can get a date on it and then we'll get back to you. All right, so we got a small date on it. It looks like 18 something. I'm guessing 1890 something. Uh, that's really awesome. Sometimes you don't get a date on these, but dude. Hey, I'm happy, man. Huh? You are literally, three, like, that's like five, six nickels for you today. Three old nickels right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. I'll take them. So, Dave, I mean, he's not even in two inches away from the other one. Uh, what are you reading here? Let's see. Oh, he keeps moving. Don't move. Coffee. Don't move, Dave. Oh, that sounds good. If it's a, if it's, if it's silver, oh, it could be a barber or it could be something really big. So, all right, let's not live dig us there. Let's live dig it. Oh, it's oh. actually in almost the same hole. Yeah. Dude, I'm hoping for silver. <laughs> That'll be two for the day for you. I'm right. hoping for garbage. Right now, right. Come on, garbage. <laughs> the worm. Is it out? I don't think so. Probably gonna have to go down underneath this root for this one, so. All right, let, let's get back to yeah. you. It might be underneath this root, so. Called silver, right? I said there was something else in there. Way under that root. Under the root, right Way between the it. two nickels. Go ahead, there it is. right between them two nickels. Uh, let's hope for a barber since we just oh, found I that I need a nickel. barber's here, but. Hey. It's almost looking like a mercury. Let's get the almost, water bottle out. Almost looking like a mercury. Let's get the water bottle out. Hey, I don't care, I'll take any, All right? Oh yeah. Oh, here comes the big surprise. Nice, hey, it's a mercury. Hey, okay. Mercury's okay. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get a date. Okay. Oh, it's, uh, it's an older... Oh, 1916. Is it? 1916. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Oh, clean that up. Oh, okay. gosh. Let's get a D. Nice I'm, I'm going to hide it from him. It'll probably be an S or anything. I'm going to... I'm going to get a... I'm going to hide it. Let's give it a little <laughs> tiny... Let's give it another quick little spray. Don't look yet. Oh my oh, gosh, this is the best looking is it? thing I've ever seen. Oh, it's guys. It's a plain Jane? It's a plain oh, Jane, wow. 1916. Man, that is a good looking 1916. That thing was dropped within the first year. Good Lord, look at that. Glad I reached No mint mark. Hole, huh? Wow. That's close to a barber, but yeah. man, that thing was dropped. It couldn't have been within the first year. I've never seen one that nice. Well, wow. We'll the hole again, huh? <laughs> nice, man. Thank you, man. All right. Gotta be something good then. Oh God, dude! He literally just got the 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 mercury, beautiful heartbreaker mercury. He got another 
coin here. It's reading 16. Actually, yeah. it could be an Indian or a fatty. Could be a fatty Indian. Let's yeah. uh, let's get Whoa. this cleaned up. Yeah, let's clean it up. It almost looks like an Indian, but it's reading 16 solid. Yeah, usually. Oh, oh yeah, it's an Indian. <laughs> it's my, an Indian. Because my pants are. We were just talking about that. Huh. Is that a fatty though? I don't know. We'll see. We'll get a date on it. Oh, yeah, man. we were just saying it could be Indians in this yard. And all in that same clump. Let's, uh, it's much. thin, so it's not fatty. Here, let me get this cleaned up, see yeah, if I can get I'll a date get on it. I'll get right back to you. It actually almost looks like uh, 80 or 97, but let's see. It's hoping for a fatty, but it, as it came out, it was a 50, uh, 16 solid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even still right now, reading it, it's a 16. But it is an 1897 Indian head penny. That, look how nice that green is. It's going to come out real clean after you get it cleaned up. But uh, it's an odd number for a... For an Indian, yeah, but it's usually 19 or 20. Or, right. So yeah. hopefully we can get some more stuff out of here, more oh. Indians. I'm gonna start shifting over this way because this guy's on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. What you get? Let me see. Another, <laughs> <laughs> Another Indian. That's about, two. About an inch deep Might be able to get the date on this yeah, one green pretty green. easily. So wasn't deep. Got two Indians, guys. Uh, 1906 on this one. I got no words. That come up regular numbers, I guess. Yeah, I got no 20. words. I got something over here. I got about 17 or 18, or 17, 18 on the Knox. So I'm hoping to find it something else good over there. Maybe uh, I'll be able to film something for myself today. It's early. Let's keep going, man. <laughs> oh. All right. He didn't get a horseshoe, but he definitely got some luck today. I'm yeah, not sure what's going on. Going here. This is number three for the day for him. What is this one? Another 19... Uh, oh, you had a 1906. This is a 1907 yeah. Indian. I'm trying to get all the years, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> all in one uh, yard. I know. Ah, oh, yeah. dude. That's crazy. Glad they're here, man. We Great even, job. We've only hit the front part. He keeps telling me to come over, and I'm like, ah, I don't want to take a spot. He's literally in a spot of maybe 10, 10 square. Yep. And he's found all those coins, so... Well... I gotta keep on. I gotta keep digging. Hopefully, I can find some stuff. I'll so I'll give you an invitation. Get <laughs> find one. All right, we'll All see right, you. Back. Well, finally, I got one. It was sitting like right here. I popped it open, and there it was. Like you could see the imprint right here, right there. It's an Indian. Uh, don't have a date on it yet, but I will yeah, try yeah. to get one for you. So What'd let you me get. get <laughs> I got an Indian. Oh, finally. Sweet. You yep. had three. I got one. See, I brought you luck after I'm all. I'm telling you. I, it's it's it eventually comes around so <laughs> let me get a date on it and I'll get back to you Wait. all right so it was an 1897 look how nice that is uh, love finding Indians I don't find as many as the other guys but man when I do I get happy so <laughs> we have someone cutting the grass so it might be a little loud but we'll get back at you we are killing it with the Indians this is a really cool yard uh, it's not a fatty uh, looks like an 18 something though let me uh, let me see if I can get a date on there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but let's see. All right, so I do believe it's another eight, 1906. Uh, you can see the six there at the end. It looks like a zero six. So, dude. Four for me? You have four? I got four now, that's four. Is that four? Yeah. Four for you. You got just about one there. Are you sure it's not five for you? No. Or a total of five so far. Total five. And I actually think I might have an Indian over here. I have a signal of 18, 19. So, all right, let's Check go right, dig man. that Check and see out. if we can get it. Well, Dave invited me over to the spot. And now I think I might have actually found something he missed. It's right here. It was reading about 30, 31 on the, on the, on the machine. Let me turn my headphones off. It's really loud. And I'm thinking it's silver. So I'm hoping it's silver. It's right in the center here. Pull this out. Uh oh, did I lose it? No. No. Okay. What? It? So. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, hey, I got silver. Yep. Woohoo! It's about time. Oh, oh boy. Let's hope it's something uh, stupid. Uh, Let's hope it's something really yeah, cool. Probably if I missed it. Uh oh, it's one dime. Oh, it's one dime. Oh, I missed ah, it. it's one dime. Uh, I needed that barber. Too. Oh, Thank you. yes. Nice. Let's see. Is there any mint mark? No. Let's play the game. What are you thinking, guys? And. 
Ben? I'm guessing Barber, but still. If it's seated, I'll be pretty happy. Yeah, it's a Barber. <laughs> I needed this on the list. So did I. <laughs> oh, yes. So did I, Mom. 1902. I have a Barber half, I have a Barber quarter, now I have a Barber, barber dime for the year. It's a little warm, but hey, that is pretty nice, sweet. Man. Dude, nice. I'm so geeked right now. Yes. All right, all right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Well, Dave hasn't gotten anything for a little while, but it's nice because we had someone cutting the grass, so it was a little loud. Thank goodness he didn't find anything. But we got himself another Indian. It looks like a 1905. Look how nice that is. He's a, I love Indians. They clean up so nice all the time. Greenies, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. We will... Uh, a nice collection this year yeah yeah we'll see you on the next one <laughs> dave has pulled out another nickel this is another buffalo he has two v nickels and two buffaloes for today this one we're probably not going to get a date on that was that one's pretty chunky yeah so pretty destroyed but a lot of times they come out with no date so wow way to go happy dude with, yeah i'm happy with a buffalo yeah i'm happy with a buffalo too if i can get one you'll get one <laughs> <laughs> all right well, Dave just brought over something cool. He got this cool little button with the shank on it. Uh, bent over there, but that's pretty neat. Uh, no, don't know what kind of coat it was to, but it was a huge pit button. Uh, and then I got myself a little quartz watch out of this little hole here. Um, and it looks like parts of a chain. Could be silver, who knows. But, hey, we're still finding stuff. I didn't even get to put my hole back, but Dave brought something else over he just got. Look at that nice little suspender strap. That is fancy. It almost looks Celtic. It's almost got like a Celtic look to it with all the scroll work on there. That is, and it's still got the nice little flippy thingamajigger on there. To pin it in. It's fragile, but it's still there. That is, that's pretty cool, man. Nice yeah, find. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Dave went over a spot I already did, and I heard this signal, and I was like, ah, it's probably the nails in this board here, and I'm, yeah, well, I was wrong. It is a gas line. It actually has the same swirls on it as the other one. It was probably part of this house at one time. Um, now, they said this house was a 1920s house, or, well, the books say 1920, but I'm actually thinking it might be a little older. Um, the stuff we're finding, it, it's yeah. early 1900s, yeah. yep. maybe 1890s. So, um, yeah, so it might. it's interesting to find that stuff. So, all right, we'll see ya. Well, I got two for the day, guys. Uh... 1901 1901 Indian it's two for me five for Dave total of what seven in this yard that's not too shabby we've got a lot of old coins we only got one wheat penny out of this whole yard so far we haven't even really done anything else except for the side yard so uh, we're gonna have to come back here again and hit this again Dave's right over there we're we've been hitting this little section really really hard um, we are almost going to be wrapping it up here, but I got myself, I thought it was going to be another Indian because I just pulled the one just not even a foot away. Uh, it says, uh, it's a Pittsburgh Railway token, 1922. It's good for one fare. That's pretty cool. It has a little triangle in the center cut out. So it's really, really neat to find these. I, I don't think I've ever actually dug one yet. This is the first one I've dug metal detecting. So uh, it's pretty cool. Well, I'm going to try to jinx him. We, he tried digging it up before we got there. It was reading a 28. It was a little scratchy, but it was uh, it was still kind of solid with a 28, 29 number. Uh, we're thinking silver dime. So. Out here. Is it yeah, out there? Shown, yeah. All right. Let's Give see. Me a 26. Might be a penny too. Oh, it's a thimble. A thimble. Ooh, is it gonna be silver? Probably not. No. Reading that number though. Uh, it might be aluminum. I don't know. Yeah, it's light. Uh, yeah, it's, it's light. light. It's one of those. It's a giveaway one. I also got a thimble today. I just didn't film it because the lawnmower was there. Um, it's one of the advertising ones. That is still pretty yeah, cool. cool. Yeah. It's a nice little signal. Um, yeah. We're, like I said, we're almost going to be wrapping up. We might just, just go swing that, back yeah. to the car. So, But we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. Good for you. How many silvers do you have for today? Oh, two. Yeah, you have two for today? Yeah. I have now just tied them. I am happy oh, about gosh, that. Um, this was a really scratchy signal. Um, I just see the rated edge. Um, I don't know what kind it is yet. We're going to get it sprayed off and see what we got. I'm hoping for another barber. What is that? 
Is that a rosy? It's a rosy. Is it really? Yeah, it's a silver rosy. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Hey, that's still, that's a 1960. Still silver. Yeah, yeah. Still silver. Look at that, 1960D. All right, well, we will, I think we're going to be done for today. So we will see you guys on the next hunt. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Um, the more you do, the better it is. We will see you on the next hunt. Next week on PA Relic Hunt Us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Dave. Dave, it was giving him a nickel signal and he got another silver. Oh my gosh. He already got one seeded out of the shark. That looks small. Is that half time? No. Size? No, yeah. it's a time. Let's see if we got a mint mark. No, mint mark. Oh, here it comes.